Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at an example of variable sampling. So this example will be part of the auditing sampling module. And basically, we looked at many type of sampling techniques. Um, and but this will be an example for variable testing. So if you want to go ahead and view the prior session, you can find them here. So let's take a look at this example. And again, this example will deal with variable sampling. We're going to go ahead and compute mean per unit point of estimate, ratio estimation, point of estimate, and the sample uh, difference estimation uh, point of estimate. So this is the data that we are giving. Let's assume this is account receivable. So we are dealing to be more specific with account receivable. This way it makes the example a little bit more realistic. And we have the book value of 600,000. It means that's what the company recorded on the books right now. They have 600,000. Of that 600,000, we selected $30,000 to audit. This is the book value of the audited amount. We find out that when, when we audited that 30,000, it, it turned out to be exactly 28,000 rather than 30,000. The population, the total population for receivable is 1,000. The sample that we selected is 50, not, not 50,000. The sample is 50. So simply put, we selected only 50 out of the 1,000 account receivable. The selected item average value is 550. So this is the selected. So each item on average was $550 to receivable. And the standard error is $10. And how did you come up, come up with the standard error? Well, it's based on the standard deviation. We computed the standard deviation. And based on that, we computed the standard error of 10. And we're going to see how we use this. So the first thing we're going to compute is the mean per unit mean per unit estimation so we want to estimate this population using mean per unit well let's let's see what we use well let's think about it how many units do we have well we have uh, for the total sample we have 1000 unit 1000 unit this is for the total sample and what we select when we selected the sample we find out that each unit is worth 550 this is the average Okay, so what can we say? Well, we can say if we have 1,000 unit and each unit on average is 550 from the sample, we can say that our point of estimate for this population is 550,000 using mean per unit estimation. Okay, now remember that you always keep a sampling risk because you sample, you don't know if the population is what, what, the, what the true value of the population. So if we want to use one standard error, one standard error so which is the standard error equal to 10 and we have uh, 1000 unit so we have 1000 unit times 10 1000 unit times 10 so the the so we could be off by sampling error 10,000 plus or minus plus or minus so what we can say is the 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 range of the population could be as low as 540 this is one standard error and range from five range from it could range from 540 540,000 to 560,000 because we find out it's 550 so it's plus or minus 10,000 now if we go to now if we go to standard error which is it's going to be 20 so if we go to standard error we go we'll take 1000 times 20 what we did is we take the standard error multiplied by 2 now we are 20 thousand plus or minus now remember one standard error just to kind of remind you it's around 68 percent confidence interval this is around 95 percent so we can say with 95 percent confidence based on what we did um, that the range could be from uh, the population could range from 5 20 20 000, which could be 530 to 570 okay so this is basically how we use mean um, mean per unit estimation. Okay. Now let's look at I'm going to delete this and let's look at ratio estimation. Okay. Ratio estimation. Ratio estimation. So we want to find point of estimate using the ratio estimation. How do we compute the ratio estimation? Well, we're going to take the audited value divided by the book value so if we take the audited value divided by the book value and based on the selected dollar amount we find out that what we selected and what we audited is 93 percent of what's what's on the books now what we can do we can say well 
if the book value is 600,000, if the book value is 600,000, this is the book value, and this population that we selected is representative of it, therefore, we can estimate that the book value is, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, va the true value is around 560. This is point of estimate using um, using uh, ratio estimation. Now, once again, what you can do, you can, you know, uh, you can use uh, any sampling risk uh, confidence interval to estimate to estimate a range. But this is how we computed the point of estimate using the ratio estimation. So first, we compute twenty-eight thousand divided by thirty. It's ninety-three ninety-three percent. Then we multiply. One will take the book value, multiply the book value by the ratio. And the last is the difference estimation. Now we can look at difference estimation and find point of estimate. Well, what do we do first? As the word suggests, we find the difference between the audited value and the book value. So the difference, let's find the difference first. The difference between the two is 2,000. Now, that 2,000 was from a sample of how much? The sample was 50. So the sample was 50. Now, we can project an error for each unit in the sample. So if we have a difference of 2,000 divided by 50, so this is the basically the projected error per each unit, right? Because we have 50 unit and the, the error was, so if we spread the difference, the error over the sample, it's $40. Now, do we have a population of how much? We have a population of 1,000. We have a population of 1,000. So what we can say, we are off by, if, if, if that 40,000 is true, as a true representation of the uh, of the sample, we have we are off by forty thousand dollars. We are off by forty thousand dollars. So simply put, the book value of the receivable, if we're off by forty thousand, that's six hundred thousand. We have to reduce it by forty thousand. It should be around five sixty. Once again, we could use um, the uh, sampling risk formula to kind of kind of um, uh, to, to, to factor in the sampling risk and find the range. But this is basically how we compute mean per unit ratio estimation and difference estimation. If you have any questions, any comments, by all means, email me or see me in class. And if you're studying for your CPA exam, um, study hard. It's worth it.